Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of the second season of Don Machi. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. <sighs> Clearly being searched for. That's a that's a, that's a problem, yeah. <sighs> Feel very bad for that fox girl. We got to do something. Maybe we could rescue her without them knowing that our familia was involved. That's probably the best strategy, but I, I don't know. <sighs> and that shouldn't be impossible, but it'd be difficult. It has to be very, very sneaky, you know? Now in the open, it's kind of funny that we go from a shot of wealth being f being wet because of the sweat to Mikoto being wet because of the rain. Kind of funny. Proof. We don't need proof. Our main characters. Uh, it's really not. His name is such a mouthful. Of course. You say that, but how do you see anything with your hair like that? Of course. Oh no. You set her off. It's been a dang. It's been a danger for a while in this sh season. Uh, someone really needs to invest in a mirror. A very strong one. Really gotta love the minimalistic approach they use, they, they use on the, the clothing. You know, where less is more. Well, that's good. But we still need to escape somehow. Get back to our goddess. And find some way to rescue Haruhime without starting a war with one of the most troublesome familia. Like the one you probably least want as enemies for several reasons. The most important one being you can no longer be a customer with them. Yeah, Bell, he's probably the most conflicted he's ever been in the whole show. Where I wanted to be is rants. Yeah, there we go. We got our, uh, what was it called? Not art again. Uh, can't remember what it was called. 
Oh, you know, a special ability. But yeah, of course, that's what I was going to decide in the end. Yeah, well, Bell probably wasn't going to be their customer anyway. I'm sure they will. We'll deal with those problems when we come to them. <laughs> yeah, of course she's gonna appreciate that because it's her friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really is the best familiar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm sure Hestia will have plenty to say to Bella when she finds him, so. Well, too bad. Because you have Haruhime, yeah. She knows him well enough. <laughs> Just lots to unpack with that statement, but I'll let it go. Yeah, red's usually a failure. Like on tests and stuff. Gotta kill the killing stone. Okay, set out. Don't get just don't get captured again, Bell. We may, able, we may not be able to protect your chastity the next time. What about blood? I'm going to be her hero. No one, let, don't let anyone tell you otherwise, Deku. <laughs> He's coming through the front. Yeah, that was an attack. Got their attention, all right. Bam. <laughs> yeah, he just. I don't know. If this is the best strategy, really, but okay. Just like this way, the straight line. And oh, man, damn, Bell. <laughs> yeah, we should probably be doing something. <laughs> we were told to stay here. Oh, <laughs> well then, I guess that's that. Yeah, we got each to go over here. That's yeah, I got a big sword, so it's a party now. I don't understand why people say wait. Do they really expect the person they're chasing? To wait, you, you, you know, when they're holding weapons and everything, just no. Yeah, I gotta pop our quick potion. <laughs> He's made such a mess of things, hasn't he? Yeah, that's a distraction. What if we want to head through the back? Uh oh, a ball. Somebody dropped the ball. Boom! Oh, no, it was just meant to distract. Well, if you don't want to... Ooh. Be stabbed. You might want to start talking. Didn't take much to change her mind. Just a little bit of blood upon penetration, and she just... She says it all. Uh, why do we have to keep looking at this thing? Just look at the subs. How oh, kind. Why do they have to move the camera from the pretty ones to her? It's cruel. And continuing the, the, the little rookie chase. Oh no. 
about the sandwich him. Not even in a good way. But yeah, you can just make a new exits. No problem. Well, that's a problem. Uh, makes one of us. Oh, anywhere that's not here. Oh, Belle, get moving. Oh, she just slapped it away. Uh, so it's such a girly looking dwarf. Okay, so anybody want to show up now to help Bell not stab him? Mikoto, are you around anywhere? And there's Ishtar. Yeah, that's that's her, all right. I know that that body anywhere. Maybe in your opinion. Maybe she's too ugly to hear. Yeah, at least he's not getting stabbed just yet. Yeah, you, totally. How about we go hang out somewhere? She does have a very interesting top. Her power is just of it. Yes, because she's the one we actually care about. I got Bella can barely look at her. It's just too much for him. Level Busto. It's not even a top, it's like a, it's like a large necklace. So it would be so easy just to see what was underneath it. Yeah, well, she is kind of a bad guy, so... How dare they say the truth. I No, I think the problem's more likely with you than with everyone else. I mean, you're certainly not bad looking, but you're no Freya, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't know, everyone has their opinion on them. <laughs> That's certainly one way to look at it. Not sure. That's true. Pretty sure it is. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Uh, bet your arms shake him off all the time. <laughs> yeah, as if she was not hard enough to look at before. Yes. Yes, she is. Bell is about to change that, though. I mean, as far as fates go after being captured, I guess it could be worse. I mean, it has been worse before for him. And there's Freya. Well then. Do, do I have to? My eyes, they'll, they'll be tainted. Well, clearly he just has eyes for Freya, you know. Oh no. Ooh. Why is the camera so high up every time it goes over to her? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty convenient. I mean, not convenient for you. Convenient for him. 
<laughs> yeah, Bell, one of the few characters in this show that will run away from a beautiful naked woman. No, he's just trying to rescue somebody and you're getting in the way. You're getting in the way in a pretty enjoyable manner, don't get me wrong, but getting in the way nonetheless. And whoosh! <laughs> oh no, we just threw her off. <laughs> Dang. Uh, just <laughs> those poor women. <laughs> Had no idea what was coming. One second they were escorting the prisoner, next just <laughs> ouch. Yeah, but it's worth it. Come on, we already knocked off the two women. Just come with us, Haruhime. Like, we just skip this obligatory, this obligatory bit. He's a pure boy that will not let that woman taint him. Well, I didn't say you were pure. You don't have to ask, he'll just do it. I mean, your body may be tainted, but I st still would want it, you know, nearby. But again, you don't even have to ask. He'll just do it. And he reads more horsemen. Sever. Oh. Oh, go no. Uh. I mean, it didn't look like too bad of a wound, but still. Yeah, I'd call that a failure. Okay, at least we aren't going to, you know, fall too badly here. Because that was what I was really worried about. <sighs> Come on, Haruhime, just uh, don't give up. Just accept Belle's kindness already. Sheesh. You know you will eventually. You know, for the most part, I'd say I've enjoyed this whole Ishtar arc. Not, not sure why, but I just, it's just, it's been enjoyable, you know, enough. One of the more enjoyable parts of the second season. Uh, come on, Bell, Mikoto, did, did, did Estia, anyone, did you show up? And there we go. Yeah, Mikoto, not gonna give up on you, Haruhime, so. Yeah, the other hero will be here soon enough, I'm sure. You tell her. You're, the, 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 the rescue is not optional. Hold my sword while I fight. Okay, so I guess this is what we're doing. Samira versus Mikoto. Oh, uh, I guess she just straight up fights with her fists. Uh, come on, just... Uh, uh, well, we already know that that's a bit wonky with her uh, familia. And what was the point of her whispering if he was going to say it out loud? She's not wrong, Belle. You got to come out here and help. But got to wait for the right time, right opportunity. I will stab you in the belly. Okay, we, yeah, we need to hurry this up a bit. Episode's almost over, too, so... 
Don't get too distracted, though. It's another way of the ninja. Yeah. Do what you have to do. She bet she wouldn't expect you to make out with her right now. Oh. Or a hug. That works, too. Uh, yeah, I knew this was going to come with the territory of the hug. Uh, it's hard to watch. Well, I would love a hug from her, so you're just so ungrateful. Hopefully, hopefully she's not going to self-destruct here. That's all I'm really hoping for. Uh, stop hitting her. <laughs> Starting to panic now, aren't you? Light of purification. Can that even purify these ladies? And that is a big boom. Oof, wow, that one looked painful. Out on the stairs. You don't don't fall. Why don't I just tell you, Mikoto? Fell you gotta catch her or it... Okay, now Bell can come out. Uh. Shade, don't do that. Hopefully Mikoto has a landing strategy. And yeah, that was knocked out successfully. Now we just gotta grab her and run. <laughs> Look a little bit salty over there, uh, Fiverr, whatever your name is. You abomination, you. And shatter, there we go. Shattered. As it's meant to be. And yes, we have resolved the problem for the most part. Now I just gotta, you know, take her home. Uh. Mikoto was definitely the MVP there, though. I mean, Bell did a lot too, but... He didn't quite suffer the same damage that Mikoto did. Because Mikoto is more invested in this. I mean, Bell's mostly doing it because he's Bell. You know, he's a hero. He helps people in need. But for Mikoto, this is her friend. I mean, this is more personal. So. Sora Tob Sakana is the song. I'm sure what that really means. I mean, I know Sakana's fish, but. About it. Ugh. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mikoto had the shoulder pads in that shot. Would be nice if she had those in this episode. Better, better prevent a certain injury. Argonaut, that's what it was called. Longing to be a hero. Okay, that was the ninth episode of the second season of Dan Hachi. And this episode, yeah, Bell finally, after struggling with the decision for a while, he came to the conclusion that, yeah, we gotta, we gotta help Haruhime, which Mikoto was, of course, happy about, for reasons I mentioned. So that's basically what the plan was. We went to go help her. We, you know, had to fight off a lot of the enemy to do so, a lot of the Ishtar familia trying to get in our way. The one bit where Bell just kept blowing stuff up and kept moving forward, that was really cool. One of the cooler bell moments of the season so far. That was great. Thoroughly making it a pretty good distraction. Mikoto found Haruhime. Just knocked the two best court guards off the off the bridge. That was pretty great. It was not so great as Haruhime not wanting to come along with us. But yeah, I mean, I kind of knew that's where we'd go. We would have to go through the whole, no, I no, I must stay here and accept my fate. Just go on without me. Like I knew we would get that stereotypical scene with her. So... I wasn't too surprised about that, but it's still always a little bit frustrating when you know the end result's going to be they rescue her regardless. As, but yeah, we had to deal with that.
Mikoto got injured in that, in that part, but definitely not out of it just yet. She did show up again when it was time for the actual ritual, and just did her best, you know, fighting, uh, what was her name? Not, not Haisha, Harima, Sarima, I don't remember all their names. Uh, Aisha is the only one I really remember the name of, but... Yeah, she fought her, but she had to use some sneaky, sneaky ninja skills to actually, you know, win. So she went for the hug, and then the purification explosion, which luckily that didn't, like, full-on self-destruct her or anything, because I was a little bit worried about that. And then Bell made his move after that, after that, and broke the, uh, you know, the thingy on the dagger, which that was, uh, that was a killing stone, right? That shattered... I would assume so. I don't think it would be so dramatic about that if it wasn't, like, important. And the only important one would be, like, the Killing Stone. So that's what I think that's what it was. I didn't quite remember what the Killing Stone looked like, but I assume that's what it was. But the point is, I think we've successfully put an end to the ritual for now. But still, the issue of being there and needing to leave is still an issue. So we'll have to deal with that next episode. But, you know, Argonaut's the title, so I'm sure Argonaut will come to, will save the day. So, and luckily for Belly, apparently he has an immunity to that whole charming thing that Ishtar tried to do to him. But, uh, yeah, also averting his eyes from that, that sight also probably helped a little bit, you know, to prevent being charmed. But yeah, she's just so jealous and salty in regards to Freya, it's great. Like, just Freya's more attractive than you, you just had to accept that. I mean, that doesn't mean you're ugly, you're definitely not, you're still one of the most beautiful characters in the show, Ishtar, but... Still, you gotta, gotta know your place. That's just how life works. Like, she does have a lot in common with Freya. I mean, honestly. See, anything else to really talk about? Not really, I mean. I, just, I love how dedicated Mikoto is to saving her friend Haruhime. I love how salty uh, Ishtar got when and her charms didn't work on Bell. He just ran off. Yeah, a little bit of stuff with Hestia and the other familiar members, but not a lot. You know, they're just they're just working towards helping, I guess. But they didn't really have much of a crucial role in what actually happened in this episode. But they may change in the next episode. Maybe they'll actually show up and meet up with our with uh, with Bell and be able to make more of a direct difference. But yeah, just gotta love seeing Mikoto be all ninja like, stabbing people in the, the neck with a needle and making them talk. So yeah, hopefully things work out next episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.